Yeah, really busy night for you, Jim. So we really appreciate the fact that you're actually here <laughs> at the station in the studio keeping yeah. an eye on the severe weather for us. It's been busy. A lot of people don't know this, of course, but Dr. Jim was supposed to be part of a dress rehearsal tonight in Katy. That's correct. Yeah, well, Ned Hibbard joins us now with <laughs> that story. Yeah, you know, not even Dr. Jim can be two places at once, right? No. Kind of hard. He's a star here every night, but did you know He's also starring in a new production of Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, and that curtain goes up on Thursday night. Being told we're all so friends does not make us Joseph fans. If this is Egypt, then where's the Pharaoh? Why, he's here in the Fox Rad Weather Center, slipping on his white Elvis shoes. By all rights, he should be rehearsing in full costume. But when you work for the Gulf Coast Weather Authority, storm systems sometimes call the shots. The dress rehearsal is tonight, and then the show opens on Thursday, so uh, it's one of those concessions. Mother Nature has her timetable, but the show must go on. And go on it has. When the show is Because there's more riding on this show than meets the eye. It's the first step toward a new community theater in Katy, with roles filled by regular Joes and Janes, like Elizabeth Brown, accounting assistant by day, narrator by night. It's such a family-oriented town, but I feel like it really needs some of this performing arts plugged in. And obviously, for me and a lot of our friends, uh, that want to do it on the side but not as a career. It's a great opportunity for us. Most of these parts are played by folks who are normally strangers to the stage, says director Andrew Noyes. And that takes guts. They, they came out here and they're trying this for the first time. And man, they, they'll knock your socks off. And that's what we're trying to build. We want to build our own facility and we're trying to raise money to do that. On this night, they'll have to do without Dr. Jim. He's preoccupied, not by low notes, but by low pressure systems. We're gonna miss this hip shaking a little bit. Okay, just for you, Andrew, we're stealing a little meteorological magic to put Dr. Jim back in the action. Well, I was wandering along the banks of the river when seven fat cows came out from the north. Eat your heart out, Elvis, who, by the way, would have been 78 years old today. Folks, if you miss him in Dreamcoat, Dr. Jim's forecast includes a 60% chance of an encore. I have a feeling since my wife is the musical director behind all of this, I'm guessing that there will be more appearances in the future. But for those who want to see this performance, <laughs> I put a link on our Scene on TV page. And Dr. Jim, when can folks go and see you in the show? They can see us Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, and then Monday of next week. And, wow, that's the first time I've ever sung on television. It was quite good, actually. You know, the folks out there tell me you're a ham. Is this true? Well, I think we all know that, right? I mean, <laughs> by day I might be a meteorologist, but in reality I'm kind of a goofball. The show looks good. It sounds good. Free tickets for everyone here, right? Uh, absolutely not. We're trying to raise money. It's a I benefit. It's a him. benefit concert. Thought so. I had him. Dr. Good Jim. try. Maybe you though. Thanks so much. I no, appreciate that. No, thank you. Here's what's coming up next on Fox 26. 100 billion Medicaid dollars is a lot of money to walk away from, but Governor Perry says it's more trouble than it's worth. Just ahead, I'll have the other side of the story. I want to see some more hip shaking from Dr. Jim. I know. Also just ahead, time for something completely different. Fox is hoping viewers will dive in and watch the high dive. A preview is on the way.